Well, researchers finally did it. Spider-Man tech is coming. And not just the web-slinging tech, but a few other abilities as well. And while the abilities we gain in the future might never live up to the crazy powers we see in the Spider-Man movies, they may come pretty close. Seriously, based on this new research, it appears that a whole bunch of other signature Spider-Man abilities will be on the menu. Like so many brilliant breakthroughs, this one came by accident. Marco Lopresti, a researcher at Tufts University's Silk Lab, discovered that adding dopamine to a silk fibrillin solution, a material they derive from moth cocoons, allowed for instant solidification into ultra-strong fibers that can grab objects from a distance. Researchers demonstrated the material's strength and versatility by lifting steel bolts, floating tubes, and wooden blocks, objects 80 times the fiber's weight. Adding chitosin, derived from insect exoskeletons, enhanced the fiber's tensile strength by up to 200 times. And borate buffer increased the adhesiveness by 18-fold. If you want to go deeper into the details, as always, I've got a link to the research below. So, what exactly will be on the menu? Well, the headline, of course, is the web-slinging technology. Now, I'm hoping we'll be able to integrate that directly into a wearable suit with a nearly endless supply of web material, uh, much like Peter Parker has in, uh, in Homecoming and Far From Home. Of course, this suit is the key, much as the movie is depicted, and this suit will certainly provide the AI-powered heads-up display and real-time assistance for guiding these spiderweb shots based on an instant analysis of the structural integrity of the buildings and such. And of course, the suit will also provide enhanced strength, uh, as well as a squirrel suit mode for gliding, and of course, a parachute that can be deployed by the user or in an emergency where the user loses consciousness by the AI integrated within the suit. But what's also cool to think about is the possibility that some of this tech could be physically integrated into our human biology through CRISPR or nanobots. These fibers could be integrated into our bones, tendons, ligaments, and muscles. Hell, even our skin, rendering us real-life superheroes. For this to happen, I suspect we're going to need steady improvements that build on the recent breakthroughs in CRISPR gene editing, AI systems, as well as nanotech robots, like the Kirigami robots I discussed in a previous video. Link right here if I can figure out how to do it. Maybe over here? I don't know. We'll see. All that combined with steady advancements in this Spider-Man web materials tech. And of course, this assumes continued funding based on continued advancements, as well as anticipation for a potential market for this tech, which are all huge assumptions. But here we are, and it sure is fun to dream, especially because these dreams are all possible realities. They're all based on the logical extensions of current science and technological breakthroughs. So, what am I missing? There are so many possibilities. Give it a think and let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this episode, so don't be shy with the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.